Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears. So excited to get back into this incredible game. Um, before we start, I have to I have to highlight the ridiculous amount of people that commented on the original the first episode saying that this game was either their favorite game growing up, the greatest RPG of all time, or change their life forever. Like, it's insane. Like, the, the amount of people that had, like, a personal changing of their life through this video game is wild. So, like, buckle up. <laughs> you know? I mean, I've heard that this game gets really serious, and I've heard that it's one of the greatest of all time. But man, just the, the amount of people that were like, this game personally changed me in many ways, like, is wild. I mean, it's, it's very apparent that this game is very important to many people. And I resonate with that, man, because, you know, Final Fantasy VII is that game for me. But not just Final Fantasy VII, other games as well. Uh, a lot of the games that I've shared with our community are games that personally changed me. And so being able to experience a game that changed a lot of you guys together is just as important. So with that, off into the desert, I guess. Actually, wait, not into the desert, into Dazel. We got we got stuff to do in Dazel, which sounds like a spice. Add three pinches of Dazel. All right, so we uh, talk to the one dude. We got to find out how to fix Welltall. And we got to listen to this jam. How can I talk to anyone? Yo, sneaky! Thank you for the 39. Wow, so this is the Ethos Workshop, hey Doc? Yes, the Ethos Workshops are the only places what, that officially repair gears. Let us see if we can get the parts we need to fix Welltall here. As they say, time is money, so we should do whatever we can do as soon as we are able to. Uh -huh. That's my favorite part of the song, where he goes, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, How can we help you? Sorry to bother you. Our gear is broken down, so I would like to buy some parts to fix it. Tough luck, huh? Can you tell me what m make the parts of parts you are after? Yes, we are hoping to replace an X29 model injection bypass circuit. X29 model injection circuit? That's only used on the latest military models. We don't keep those kind of parts in stock here. You can only get such special parts by placing an order at the Ethos headquarters. This workshop is only for the repair of civilian gears. I see. Sorry to have bothered you. Sorry that we can't help you. stuck. Help. 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 <laughs> I, th I feel like, uh, I feel like as we're walking out, this guy is like, yeah, we got a code red. These guys are coming in here asking for military parts. Bring in the army. I think we're gonna get jumped on our way out. Doc, do you have a moment? I need to talk to you. Yes, of course, Faye. So Faye, what did you want to talk to me about? Well, Doc, it's about Welltall. We can't find the parts we need, so is it all right if we just don't fix it? Do not repair it. What is the problem, Faye? Well, we've been able to come as far as Dazel on our own. 
So doesn't that show that we don't need Welltall as much as we thought? Actually, I've been thinking that once things cool down, I want to go back to Lahan and help rebuild. That's all I feel I can do now. I see. If that is what you want, Faye, then fine. But I think we should try and move Welltall as far away from the from there as possible. Move it away? But why do you need to do that, Doc? It is only my speculation, but I suspect the incident that evening occurred because the Gebler Special Force stole a Keslev military gear. Special Force? You mean Ellie's group? Exactly. When I examined the broken gear in the village, I realized that Gebler pilot was riding a Kislev gear. There must have been some new technology involved in it for the Kislev army to send pursuit forces after it. New technology? I suspect that the Gebler force was out to steal a new experimental gear. I am sure news of the special forces failure has reached the capital. They will be investigating the Lahan area to reclaim whatever parts of the new gear that they can find. Hold on, Doc. Won't the Kislev army still be in Lahan too? Most probably. In that case, there will be a conflict between Ava's inspection troop team and Kislev's pursuit troops. If they find where we have hidden Welltall, the armies will fight over who gets Welltall and right near Lahan too. So to avoid any problems, we should move Welltall somewhere else right away. But we can't fix it in order to move it. Right, but staying here will solve nothing. Fortunately, this is the center of all excavation work in this country. There's bound to be some information on where we can find parts. Anyway, the fear is often worse than the danger itself. We should not let such fears hold us back. So, it's been a week, so remind me. Kislev is the the big like uh, I don't know what's called empire and Ava is just the, the city that was in the way what, what what's the other what's the like who are they fighting Who's the other main country that they're fighting? Or are they just fighting everyone? I'm trying. I'm trying to remember like just the general like uh, the general state of the world here. Okay, Abba is the big. It's not just the city. It's the the two the bigger empire. Okay, that's what I was getting confused in my head. And they're just fighting, do we know why they're fighting yet? Or is it just like, war, war never changes. I think they're just, well, oh, oh no, I remember, cause they said, um, it was mostly cause the gears were found. So they're trying to like rush to get the gears so that no one country is too strong, basically. It's like an arms race. Yeah, and, and Ave, which I'm never going to remember to pronounce it that way, uh, was losing, but then Gebler joined, and now they're, like, almost winning, or 50-50, because Gebler's, like, super strong. They're, like, a special, special force with special gears, and they're super strong. They are Gebler, Gebler Roth. I should keep because it sounded like we still had more to do here there's anything on the map is there other than enemies hey hey I still haven't figured out 
exactly how these combos work yet. I know you can save up AP. Yeah, you can save up AP, but like, there doesn't seem to be a reason to yet. Unless there's like, some specific boss that maybe like heals or something and you want to try to like, burst them down. But other than that, there doesn't seem to be a reason to save up your combos because you might as well just use them every turn. But what I was trying to figure out last time is how you learn new combos because and don't tell me if you know i'm gonna try to figure it out myself but like singretsu is at 100 so i'm wondering if that means i need to like use it or something like like figure it out figure out what the button combination is now and then i'll like learn it or what or like maybe i just go up a level and then i get it or something I thought that they had said that the, the main reason for the war was the arms race. Because they found that, they found the ruins with all the gears. And they didn't, neither one of them wanted the other one to get too many gears and become too strong. So then it became like a war to try to stop each other from getting all the gears. This is a sand buggy. That is it, Faye. I have thought of a good way to get the parts we need for Welltall. First, we have got to find out who will rent out us this buggy. Sand buggy. A sand buggy is a special car made for the desert. Come on, Faye. It's odd. Look at it. Its tires do not sink into the sand, so it is a must for long trips into the desert. So then, Doc, what do you plan on doing with this sand buggy? Well, leave it to me. Just you wait and see. To be fair, though, they did say that Faye lived in that village like his whole life, so he doesn't know anything about the outside world. Which is a sneaky way of teaching us, the player, about the world, because Faye knows nothing. So everyone has to explain stuff to him. Although it's that- oh, I remember- I remember them saying that, so actually, maybe it's, it sounds like the war may have started before the majority of the gears were found. I don't know. It might just be war never changes, as in there's always war because humanity. Or maybe we learn more about the war later and why it started. Mm, never saw you before. You want to rent out a sand buggy too, eh? Yes, that is right. Do you have any we can rent right now? Of course, the keys are in the ignition. You can take it now. Well then, if I may. Faye, I am going into the desert to search for parts for Waltall. Going to the desert? Doc, are you going to excavate some ruins or something? The Kislev and Ava armies are confronting each other in the desert all the time. There is talk that their forces often break into battle over the ruins. What does that have to do with the gear? Come on, Faye, put it together. If I search the battlefields for the wrecks of such army gear, I should be able to find the parts we need. Besides, Waltall is a Kislev gear, so we need parts from Kislev gears. But... Faye, you are such a warrior. Things have a way of working out. You do not need to worry so much. Why not go kill some time at the bar until I get back? Hey, are you letting him go out there alone? Lots of fights break out in the desert. It's a real dangerous place. I've heard about a group of pirates riding around attacking people on a sand cruiser. You really shouldn't let him go out there by himself. <laughs> He's not much of a critical thinker, is he? Come back. Where'd he go?
Well, he gone. We lost him. It's gone forever. Should I look for him? I mean, I, the car was gone, so I mean, he went. Okay, there we go. Pop, pop, pop. Well, what are they? Are they Ava Gears? I'm worried about Doc. Guess I may as well follow those gears. I'm coming, Doc. <laughs> yeah, he's uh not much of a critical thinker, and also kind of just flies by the seat of his pants. Time to comb the desert. We ain't found crap. Yeah, he just he just kind of punches stuff. Okay, so it looks like you have to get it up to a hundred, and then when you go up a level, you'll learn it. I also learned inner healing. Not exactly sure how you get it up to 100, maybe just by trying different combos. Nice. A little heal. Triangle, triangle, X. Do I have enough for that yet? Did I get another combo point? I did. Holy, holy. That combo's wild. I love this combo. Uh, like, I love the... I love the combo mechanic. But I just don't understand yet why you wouldn't just use your strongest combo every time. You know? So that, that's, the only, that's the only piece of the puzzle I'm missing here. I would imagine that maybe the shorter combos are like easier to hit or something, but I've not really had any issues hitting, so. Don't see why we wouldn't just spam this every time. Since it does the most damage. It is turn based. It's uh, pseudo, pseudo ATB. So it's like ATB, it's like Final Fantasy VII ATB weight. So, there's ATB, but as soon as it gets full, everything stops and you pick what to do. So, it's like playing Final Fantasy VII on weight mode. How far has Doc gone? And now I've lost sight of those gears, too. What's happening? He's dead, isn't he? Is that a UFO? Wow, it actually is. <laughs> I was I was joking. What what the heck is that thing? 
I'm actually guessing it's like a a gear grabber or something. A different unit. Are they going toward the direction the saucer went? I better follow them so as not to lose the sight of them. That was English. Looked like a weather balloon, yeah, kinda. That combo is so sick. doing the combo, I'm missing a bunch. So why not just spam the combo? Yeah, you just press the buttons, so that's it. There's no like timing or anything. You, you do press them as you go, but there's no, like, time limit or anything. Like, I could go, like, square and then sit here and think about it. <laughs> like, there's no, there's no timing. And it tells you at the bottom what combo you're potentially getting to, so you don't have to like memorize. And if you cancel with points remaining, you can build up a AP and then you can cash in your AP for a combo. But it, it so far I haven't seen a reason to do that. But I'm sure there's a reason. Does this desert ever end? It'll get dark soon, so I better hurry up and I got bikes that dude that work. We're, we're walking into something big. He's been in the desert all day. <laughs> What's going on here? Gears, a flying saucer, and now these guys. I hope Doc's all right. Yeah. Wah. Grab that bike. Uh, sorry about that. Just let me borrow this for a while. <laughs> Hey, wait! I was expecting him to, like, immediately crash. <laughs> well, at least we had a low profile before, and now we're gonna be real obvious. And we're done. <laughs> now you done screwed up. What's with you guys? Aren't you overreacting a little just for stealing a motorcycle? <laughs> Faye, I was looking everywhere for you. Doc, you're all right? Yes, of course. Looks like we do not have time to chat. Faye, hurry. Hurry and do what? I cannot use Waltall very well. Only you can use its full potential. Hurry up and get on board. Uh, all right. Dude, can I just say, like, 
regardless of uh, you know the story and everything else going on with this game just as a video game this game is never boring like there is always stuff going on like a lot of the game a lot of the RPGs I played especially like newer ones there's a lot of like dead air and like you know just oh we got to the village and now we got to collect lint balls you know like there, there's a lot of like calms before the storms kind of thing and this game is just like there's always stuff going on it's always action we had like two minutes in the town to talk to two people and then right back to craziness you know I need help with all these rats I mean that's not exactly a bad thing but it's just it's awesome to see like we really can make a, a game that's just Constant action. Ow. And I don't just mean like fighting either, like, but just there's always something going on. There's always something at stake. A lot of RPGs tend to start pretty slow. This game does not. Introduced us to the characters and then just action since then. It's always moving towards something. Like, you know, we, we met we met Ellie, and it's like, who is she? What does she know? What's going on? And then they immediately got into a fight, and then it was like really crazy uh, kind of themes going on with that fight and then right after that she left and now it's like we gotta go to the town but as soon as we get to the town it's like oh we gotta go to the desert and then immediately more troops and I mean it's like it's just awesome I'm never bored playing this game and it's fine to be to have some like lulls in the action but this game certainly does not. At least not so far. And that's good to start off, you know, exciting. I don't know how, but I beat them. Da ha 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 ha! What the? Oh my god, is that Sephiroth? Your not-blooded desire for battle has not been tamed, I see. Oh, hot. I thought it was not. I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. Your hot-blooded desire for battle has not been tamed, I see. Who are you? Me? Right. <laughs> I know you. You killed No. It wasn't. Not me. I... You coward. It was you. That was like the most anime thing ever. When it was like the blue background and then the blue background like took over his face. You're the one from Lahan. Here we go again. My name is Graf, the seeker of power. You certainly showed how much power you had back there in Lahan, didn't you, Faye? How much power I had? What are you talking about? Love this theme. A greater power is what I need to fulfill my mission. I sent those gears into that land as a catalyst to awaken the power in you, to make contact with you. As a catalyst? You mean you caused that intentionally? That's right. The death of your loved ones. And you powerless against it happening. 
the grief, the screams from your heart born out of the tragedy. There, there was that was the catalyst for triggering your power. You mean you attacked my village just to get me in that gear? Why? Why did the villagers have to die? Who cares why? It does not matter how many of them died. They were wretched vermin, only living from day to day without ever fulfilling their prescribed destinies. And have you forgotten? You were the one who destroyed the village. I did not lift a finger. No! I was just trying to save the village and its people. I never intended to destroy it. Is that really so? Surely you have heard it. It is the very essence of you, the voice of desire from within you that craves destruction. Shut up. Even if that were true, aren't you still the one who caused it? If you hadn't come, the village wouldn't have suffered the way it did. Ah, so now you resort to blame. I see. That sounds like something you would say. That's good. Your basic nature remains unchanged. Crap. <laughs> you said you need my power? What were you intending to do with it? You know very well. It is to destroy Mother God. D destroy mo destroy God? Yes, we will destroy God. That is our purpose. That is our destiny. Don't be ridiculous. I won't get involved in such a thing. If you want to destroy your God or whatever it is you're on about, do it by yourself. Ha ha ha. You resemble your father. My father? You mean my dad? <laughs> no. No. Your father is in your brother. You know my father? That was a most delightful scream. I was enthralled by it. Nothing is more beautiful than a scream of death. What did you do to my father? What happened between you two? Hmm, do you really wish to know? There is no use in you knowing it now. What? Your power is still beneath that needed for my purposes. Anything unusable must be tried until it becomes suitable. What? What in the heck is that? What will you do, Faye? If you die here, then so be it. You may indeed gain some happiness from not knowing, but surely that is not what you truly want. If you want to know the truth, and that is what you want, isn't it, Faye? Then this is what to do. You must show me that you have attained the level of strength I require. To do that, you must destroy others by using your own strength. Then you will gain all that was lost in exchange for that scream of death. Ha 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 ha! Wait, we're not finished talking yet. This dude can just summon demons. Man, what a what an introduction to a bad guy. Holy crap. They they hit all the all the targets. You know, like blaming me for or like gaslighting me to say that it was my fault that my whole family died. Also knew my father, also killed my father also wants to destroy God. Like, every single possible evil thing, they just, like, rattled him off. <laughs> Way to make a villain. Kicked my dog. <laughs> Stole my lunch money. He did it all. Shove me in a locker. I like his, uh... I liked his, um... Mentality, though. Like, he, he wasn't just like... Oh, I could kill you now, but why bother? Like, you know, they actually had a pretty good reason as to why he wouldn't just kill us now, because he wants me to get stronger. Kamehameha! Holy... Counter slurp. He's slurping my juice.
Who is your daddy and what does he do? Also, that that rug pool. Is that an elephant? This whole time it's been like, oh man, is it my fault? Is it not my fault? Like, Faye's been struggling with this up to this point. And then as soon as he finally comes to the conclusion of like, you know what, it wasn't my fault. I was just trying to help the village. We get the rug pulled under us and it's like, actually this dude just did it on purpose. I got an eyeball. Faye, are you all right? Faye! I'm fine. The gear seems to be broken, though. I am so glad that you are unharmed. The gear had only temporary repairs made to it. They were not made to survive an outright battle like that. Faye? So anyways... Oh no, the Abbey military. Not now. Faye, I think we should remain calm. Faye? Uh oh. It's a toss-up between FaZe going berserk and FaZe giving up. Like he gave up. And those cutscenes are so dope. There's so many of them too. Like I kind of expected maybe some at the beginning, some at the end, but it's like every big scene there's a cool cutscene. How are you, Faye? Did you sleep well? Huh? Uh, well, sort of. Sorry I messed up. I was careless. That gear is a top secret experimental model from Kislev. It was only natural that Ave would also be madly searching for it. Faye, are you hurt? You do not look so well. Well, I suppose you could say I was hurt. That man in black spoke of your father's fate. Is that what is wrong? There's that too, but... And this song. It's the other stuff he said. What happened at Lahan was all planned to get me to ride in that gear, or so he claimed. That's got me worried. Yeah, I like this song a lot. To get you to ride in that gear. 
Doc, before the village was destroyed, I lived without doubting myself. But it's different now. I don't know who I am. I've never felt like this before. Yo, Kozan, thank you so much for the three-year primer, man. Thank you so, so much. Man, I kind of want to just listen to this song. We cannot do anything as long as we are prisoners, even if we wanted to. Let's rest a little. Maybe we'll sort your feelings out a little. Are you worried about your father? All I know is what the maids at my home in Lahan told me. One night a strange masked man carried me to Lahan. I was heavily wounded at the time. In my delirium I called out for my father. That's all they could tell me about my background. I don't remember anything of my father or my past, so I guess I'm not really all that lonely or sad. How's it going, Natsu? Doc, why didn't I notice that I had no memories up until now? <laughs> if I select Let's Talk more, it just does nothing now. Let's talk more. Let's not. It was him. No mistake. That was no coincidence. Could it be that we are approaching the time of the gospel? I don't know. Why don't you uh, tell us some stuff there, buddy? Yes, the gospel. We are the people expelled from paradise and forced to live on the cruel surface of the earth. We who fill this land will once again return to the presence of God in paradise and live there eternally. That is the time of the gospel. That time is at hand. We, the Gazel, must find God's resting place by then and resurrect him. That is our final prayer. Our final prayer. Our final prayer is to escape from the fate that was determined at our genesis. Majesty, is this the end? <laughs> Guys, I think you might be hiding something. <laughs> Bingo! Just as the report said, an Ave transport. And look at what they have on top! No mistaking it, that's a new Kislev model. It has to be the stolen gear everyone is after. Whatever the case, there's no way we are going to let that Shakan guy have it. It's pirate time. Gunner! Turret A, Anton, and turret B, Belta, can initiate their ectrop... ectrop... meters? 20 seconds after opening their hatches. France! I don't hear anything other than the flowing sound of the sand. No suspicious radar activity detected. Marcellis! Matreya's units are on the standby at the catapults. We'll all be able to launch one minute after we resurface. Good, let's do it. Batcon level one. Batcon? What is this, Batman? Service combat ready. Torpedo room ready. Anti-gear guns ready. Navigation and engineering also are also ready. Young master, what is happening? What was the alarm all about? Go back to bed, Grandpa. Not again. Young Master, hold on a second. Battle stations, everyone. Service navigation. Begin operating the sand pump. 
Prepare to fire starboard cannons upon surfacing. Young master! Trim to the right. The wind is strong up there and we may be blown off balance. Jericho, hand the helm over to me. Look, what is that? A sand cruiser? It must be those desert pirates. I love the the use of camera angles and like the cinematography of this game is just fantastic. I mean, it straight up feels like a movie at times, with just the way the camera work is. Alternate firing between an Anton and B Belta, calculating adjustments. Oh yeah! Switch modes over to salvos after the initial shots. Let's slow them down. Get ready to give them a spank and they won't forget. Young master, please wait. It may just be a requ requ requisitioned ship, not a warship. Let me handle this. Whether it's a warship or not, it's carrying a new gear. Gunner, let him have it. Was this originally on PS1? It, we are playing it on PS1. This do be the PS1 game. Oh, oh! Judging by the angle, it seems as if a gun blast has made a hole in the hull. We will probably sink within minutes. You're telling me that by the angle the room is at, you could tell that? I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I think Satan might be a genius. A few minutes, Doc! It is locked. Somebody free us. Ah! Yeah, I think this game uh, is only PS... I don't think even... Did it even get a PS3 port? I don't think it did. Wait. No, I think it did, didn't it? Yeah, I got a PS3 port, pretty sure. Now, the PS3 ports are just straight ports, though. Like, it is just the PS1 ROM dumped onto the PS3 store. But you can buy this on the PS3 store. Let's get out of here, Doc. <laughs> Run! There's the switch for the sand barrier door on the right hand wall, side wall there. Oh, I skipped the part where he said be careful, so now I don't know why I should be careful. We're gonna die a horrible death. How's it going, Badger? Thanks for being here, I appreciate it. Yep, you could still buy this on the PS3 store. The PS3 store is pretty terrible and busted, but you can still do it. So if you have a PS3, you could play this without spending the $100 to get a copy. Yeah, the PS3 store is pretty yikes. First of all, the buy button is usually broken, so you have to like find it because it's like invisible on my console it's literally invisible um and then on top of that you can't buy stuff straight off the store anymore you have to go to the website and put money on your account and then buy it you can't like put money on your account from the store anymore but if you have a ps3 laying around it's probably worth it versus buying a physical copy of this game because it's very expensive I also don't know how the PS3 store version is. Like I said, it's just a straight port. Some of them are better than others.
Uria. Oh my god. The engine room blowing everyone up. Was that like an old-fashioned, uh... What do you call those? They're like stick grenades or something? I don't remember the actual name for them. That was like World War One era grenades. They had like the stick and then the charge at the top. And you would chuck them like a boomerang. Potato masher. So... Can you not, can you change targets? I guess not. Okay, yeah, you can't. Right. So I was thinking maybe that would be a reason to do combos, so you could like change targets, but once you pick a target, that's it. <laughs> that's kind of funny, because there's obviously some, uh, Correlation between the the empires and Germany, so to give them a German grenade is funny. Although it was more of Kislev that had the the German. Okay, that's weird. Um, we were relating the Kislev army to Germany, and this is the Ave army. What was that last? He like finger gunned him. You see that? He gave him a finger gun. <laughs> I gotta see that. I gotta see that again. That again. Watch this finger gun. <laughs> what is that? Wow, that's actually a crazy heal. Man, not, not only in the cutscenes, but even the battles themselves have such good camera work. The way the camera shifts around during the attack just makes it so epic. It's pretty funny, or pretty fun to do the button combinations if you know what they are, because you can put them all in right away. You don't have to wait. That was honestly pretty genius how they did it. Because um, you don't have to wait for the first hit. You can just put in the whole thing and then just watch it. 